On July 18, Malaysia Airlines Airbus A330 with 229 people on board took off from Brisbane Airport with no airspeed information. Shortly after the aircraft arrived in Brisbane from Kuala Lumpur on July 18, 2018, a support engineer placed covers on the aircraft's three pitho tubes, or otherwise known as the airspeed sensors, for an aircraft. This was to prevent them from being blocked by mud warps, a known hazard at Brisbane Airport. Pitot tubes are generally used as speedometers like on your cars, but on aircrafts that actually measure the fluid flow velocity that goes through within those pitot tubes. However, during the turnaround and before the aircraft departed for the return flight to Kuala Lumpur, the covers were not removed from the pitot tubes. And this was despite there being requirements for multiple walk-around checks by the aircraft's captain, engineer and dispatch coordinator, all intended to identify unsafe conditions such as the fitment of the pitot probe covers. Consequently, the aircraft's primary instrument displays showed red speed flags in place of airspeed indications. So meaning the pilots were not able to get any speeds on the aircraft, even from early on in the takeoff phase. However, the flight crew did not respond in time for the takeoff to be safely aborted. When the speed went past V1, the aircraft went airborne and climbed to a speed climbed to an elevation of 11,000 feet where they performed troubleshooting and other procedures including shutting down the aircraft's air data systems. This activated a backup system on most aircraft, on most Airbus aircrafts called the Backup Speed Scale or BUSS, which displays a safe flight envelope for their flight crew to maintain. Using the bus or the Backup Speed Scale and airspeed management procedures and assisted by ATC, flight crew brought the aircraft safely back to the ground in Brisbane. On the night, several individuals from different organizations had separate key roles in detecting aircraft damage or other unsafe conditions such as the fitment of pitho probe covers. However, these checks were omitted entirely or only partially completed for a variety of reasons, including inadequate communication and reduced diligence. However, Malaysia Airlines had recently reintroduced flights to Brisbane. And although the VASP risk was identified, the use of pitho probe covers were not required or controlled. Shortly after the occurrence, the ATSB or the Australian Transportation Safety Board issued a safety advisory notice or SAN to operators fly to Brisbane Airport to consider the use of pitho probe covers where they are used and ensure there are rigorous processes for confirming whether they are removed before the flight. The ATSB also uncovered a range of deeper issues including coordination among the involved organizations that allowed frontline problems to emerge. For the flight crew, the occurrence also highlights the importance of vigilance, communication and decision making in adverse situations like this. The ATSB found that surprise, uncertainty, time pressure and ineffective communication between the two pilots during the takeoff probably led to stress and a high cognitive workload which uh, resulted in them not being able to reject the takeoff in time. This reduced the capacity to interpret the situation and make a decision early enough to safely reject the takeoff. In response, the Australian Transportation Safety Board has issued an SAN advising manufacturers and operators of all large transport aircraft to consider what types of unreliable airspeed situations may occur or can occur in these aircrafts, how the information is presented to pilots and what the responses are expected from the pilots in order to avoid situations like this. All of the relevant organizations have contributed to the large number of safety actions taken in response to the incident and the ATSB's investigation. For example, Malaysia Airlines themselves now require the placement of a placard on the flight deck as a visual alert that pitho covers are actually in place and they have to remove it before flight. This has introduced improvements to its change and risk management procedures. Airbus meanwhile has implemented additional flight crew training standards about unreliable airspeed on takeoff, added guidance to the flight crew techniques and has commenced a review of airspeed indications in A330 
and other aircraft types. The ground handling and engineering companies involved in the incident have also made system and process improvements and the airport information provided to pilots has been amended. So what do you think of this incident? Can this be avoided? Some sort of system can be introduced. I would like to hear from you in the comment section below. Until next time, positive rate, you're up.